Okay, this is the last activity for today. This is quite a simple one, uh, and again, it relies on triggers and action buttons. So, for the third time, I've applied my slide transition, I've chosen my speed, and I've unticked the mouse that says mouse click, and you can see I've put on action buttons to move through the PowerPoint. Now, this uses uh, the same sort of techniques as before, this is really easy to set up. What I've got here is I've got a, a nice picture that I want children to guess what it is. And I'm going to cover it with uh, shapes for them to remove to reveal the picture. I'm going to use just ordinary squares. If you go to clip art and search auto shapes, you will find somewhere down here um, jigsaw pieces. Okay. Uh, and you can ungroup these so that they are separate and you can adapt them, their appearance, with the drawing tools okay, to uh, make them look more like jigsaw pieces. And these can be uh, used instead of squares if you wish to. I'm just going to show you the technique with squares. Um, it's up to you if you want to change it. So I'm just going to get rid of these for now. Get rid of that clip art panel. As I said, I just want shared, uh, squares. So I'm going to insert shapes, click on the rectangle, click once, and it will make a perfect square shape. I'm not bothered about uh, making it fit the photo exactly. I don't mind if there's a little overlap, it doesn't really matter. That looks okay. I'm going to change the appearance to make them look like tiles, to make them look a little bit more 3D. And then we're going to put some animation on this so that uh, it disappears. So custom animation and the effect I want to add is an exit and I'm just going to get it to fade. Okay, And you can see there that it's called rectangle 19. And just like before, I'm going to go to timing I'm going to go to Triggers, Start, Effect on the click of Rectangle 19 and press OK. And what you'll see now is when I click on it, the cursor turns to a finger pointer and there you go, it disappears. So we're going to need lots of them and this is really easy. You can, you can just copy and paste and layer them if you want to. You could maybe put them alternate sort of effect colour and wise like a checkerboard and you can see going down the side with the custom animation that uh, it copies and pastes everything so it's, you don't only have to do the animation once and you'll get the effect that you require okay now I think what I'll do now is I'll press control and I'll highlight all of those, copy the row, paste it. You can see it's done exactly what I want. I'm just going to paste a few rows of these now over my photo. You can see there are little tiny gaps in between the tiles but I don't think it's really going to matter. Now that looks okay but what I would probably do is change the colour in. So I probably make these white like that. I'm pressing control to highlight them all at once. Make these blue so it's like a checkerboard design. And then when you play it children can choose to remove one square at a time and try and guess what the object is. Now if you want to have a few objects on one PowerPoint um, it's easy to, to make a, another one, another slide without a lot of effort. I'm going to highlight the side, press Ctrl and D to duplicate it. Then I'm going to press Ctrl and I'm going to highlight all of these 
individual tiles. You don't have to highlight all of them, I just think it's easier. And when you go to Drawing Tools, I'm going to send them to back. And that means that the picture is now on the front. And you can change that picture either by right clicking and going to Change Picture or just deleting it and putting another picture in there. And then when you've got your picture in there, you just send the picture to the back. And there we are. You've got two slides and you can have different pictures. So there you have it, a jigsaw reveal activity using triggers, photos and action buttons.